We introduced Android Go Edition last year with the aim to bring the latest Android improvements to more entry-level phone buyers. There are now more than 200 Android Go devices available in over 120 countries. These devices are not only popular in emerging markets such as India and Brazil and Mexico, but in the United States as well. With more than 100 manufacturers planning to release devices before the end of the year, this is truly a global opportunity for your apps to reach a wider audience. Fundamentally, the Android Go Edition experience is based on three key pillars. Storage, delivering twice the out-of-box data storage compared to similarly configured non-Go Edition Android devices. Data management, helping users minimize their data consumption with features such as choosing content quality in YouTube Go and security, offering the same security features as Android 9, such as Find My Device and malware protection with Google Play Protect. Let's take a closer look at how you can optimize your apps for Android Go. Start by targeting the most recent Android API. At the time of publishing this video, that's Android Pie API 28. This enables you to gain benefits such as improved memory use, while helping your apps run more efficiently on devices with one gigabyte of RAM or less. There's a clear correlation between lower app size and higher install rates. This is especially important for Android Go Edition users, as they have limited storage capacity and may incur download data charges. Therefore, keep your app under 40 megabytes and your game under 65 megabytes. The simplest and most impactful thing you can do to reduce your app size is to start using an Android app bundle. Developers using an app bundle have seen size savings of up to 65%. This works because Google Play uses your Android app bundle to build and serve APKs that are optimized for each device configuration. This results in a smaller app download for end users by removing unused code and resources needed for other devices. Additional optimizations you can do to reduce your app size are replace PNG or JPEG files with HEIF or WebP assets. For vector graphics, use vector drawables. Replace raw audio format resources, such as WAVE, with MP3 or AAC resources. Remove duplicate libraries and, whenever possible, focus on mobile optimized libraries. Shrink and optimize your unused code and resources with tools such as ProGuard. You can use the APK Analyzer in Android Studio or from the command line to help understand how these optimizations impact your APK size. Another thing to check is your app's proportional set size or PSS. Now this is your app's physical memory footprint that accounts for both shared and unshared pages used by your app. You can easily check this using ADB Shell, Dumpsys, Meminfo. Aim for PSS RAM usage below 50 megabytes for apps and below 150 megabytes for games. And of course, make sure your app functions without ANRs and crashes by testing and double checking on Android Go Edition powered devices. After making the optimizations, it's time to publish. Now one question you might have is, do I deliver the same app to all my users or specifically target an optimized version of the app to users of Android Go Edition? For most developers, we recommend publishing the same app to all devices for those who are using Android and those who are using Android Go Edition. By optimizing your app to run well on Android Go Edition devices, all your users stand to gain from the performance benefits. Another option is to publish two separate apps, your existing app and a light app that is focused on Android Go Edition devices. You can target certain countries with a light app, or you can target all devices in all locales. It's up to you. Now, distributing a second app isn't a decision to be taken lightly. You'll need to support and maintain its code separately and dedicate resources to growing and engaging a second audience alongside your existing app. As we mentioned at the start of the video, Android Go is a tremendous opportunity for you to grow your app or game business. To learn more, check out the resources listed in the video description, including the Building for Billions guidelines, where you will find more tips for using memory, power, and network bandwidth more efficiently in your apps. Thanks for watching. <laughs>